Welcome to our discussion of a lossless transmission line model. The simplest transmission line is shown in this circuit. We have a voltage source V0, that's going to be in general a function of time. And it's, we're going to close the switch and then the voltage is going to go down to a load. Now, when we looked at this in circuits, we assumed that when the switch is closed, the load sees the voltage instantaneously. You never discuss about the fact that there might be a time lag. Well, in reality, if we're transmitting power, we have a very long line, and that means it has to take time for the voltage to travel down the line to, if you like, charge up the load R. Usually these lines can be very, very long. That long. So you can see that my face has been replaced by a transmission line in red across the Pacific. It's 14,000 kilometers long. Well, this is impressive, Matt. What are we going to do about this? Is it going to charge up instantly? Well, if it charges up instantly, don't we have a faster than light communication across the Pacific Ocean? Yeah, the electric field somehow has to travel down through the, through the wire. Maybe not, but it has to travel from the source to the load, mm -hmm. and it can't travel faster than the speed of light. So it's going to be some time if it's 14,000 kilometers long. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to model this? Because we don't have any kind of timing in this setup. Yes. Well, uh, if we're going to think that uh, the R takes some time to charge up, what if we just uh, put in parallel capacitors? Here, I'll draw it for you. And let's forget about the switch. So you're going to put in more than one, right? A whole <laughs> bunch. Put in about 5,000, but we'll only draw a few here. OK, so is this going to help us model the time delay of the voltage when the switch is hit for the effect to be sent from the generator to the load, and we, we saw that was 14,000 kilometers across the Pacific. Huh. Yeah, now that you point that out, um, I guess the entire top note here would just charge up at the same time, just slower than before, right? Yeah, because uh, each one of these will charge up. Yeah, but, well, at the same time. Well, why at the same time? I mean, still going to have some kind of... This guy will charge up first. Mm -hmm. They can't. Yeah, so we need some uh, delay. Uh, we need to put in a delay. Mm, so element. maybe you could do mm, that. Okay, well, I guess it should be series. Yeah, we want to put in some delay. What, what kind of element are you going to put in, passive element that's delay? Inductors uh, impede the change of current. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, why don't you put in some inductors? How do you like that? Yeah, I kind of like that because if we have closed the switch, current's going to start to move. It's going to be delayed here. Mm -hmm. And then when the field collapses in the inductor, current gets dumped into the capacitor. That's right. When the capacitor charges up, then it's going to travel down the line, and that'll give us a delay. So Beautiful. Let's see if we can, in the next presentation explain how this delay actually happens and what's the consequence. Sure, let's do that. See you next time. See you next time.